Hello and welcome to a very special book week craft session. Today we are going to be crafting these beautiful handprint birds and this activity is inspired by Busy Beaks by Sarah Allen which is one of this year's CBCA shortlisted books and it's full of some beautiful information and pictures about all different kinds of birds and their beautiful feathers. And I've got my feathers on today to celebrate. So let's have a look at what you'll need to make your handprint bird. So we're going to be using some finger paint today. So finger paint is the best type to use, but any washable paint will work really well. Just make sure it's easy to wash off of your hand. I'm going to use a paintbrush as well. You will need a piece of paper for the legs of our bird. We're going to use a paper straw. If you don't have straws, you can just take some plain paper and roll it around a pencil and just tape it off so that you're getting a paper cylinder. We will need a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and some beautiful feathers. Are you ready to go? Let's get started. Okay, so as always, when we're working with paint, we've got some newspaper down just to protect our table. Now I'm going to take my finger paint and what I need to do to get a nice full handprint is paint the entire palm and all of the fingers on my hand. Now this is a specially made face paint, but you can use any sort of washable paint. If you don't want to get your fingers or your hand covered in paint or dirty, instead of doing the handprint, you could just trace around the outside of your hand. So I'm going to keep painting my entire palm and I have to say this feels pretty cool. Really nice and cold paint on the palm of my hand. So our thumb is going to become the neck and the head of our bird. My palm is going to be the bird's body and my fingers are going to be, can you guess, the bird's tail and feathers. So apply lots of paint covering your entire palm and your thumb and all of your fingers. That's looking pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is get a nice handprint onto this sheet of paper. And I want to fan my hand out so that I've got my tail feathers sticking out and my head sticking off to the other side. So place your palm out flat, press it down onto the paper. I'm gonna roll my thumb just a little bit and let go. And we have a beautiful handprint ready to go. So we'll let that one dry and then we'll come back. Okay, so here's a handprint I did earlier that's nice and dry. And I've also got a beautifully clean hand as well. So the next thing we're going to do is take our pencil and trace an outline around our hand to form the shape of the bird. So up at the top here, we're just going to draw a bit of a circle and that will become the bird's head. And then just continue that pencil line, just tracing around the outline of the hand. So we go in and out of the fingers like this because that's where we're going to place some of those beautiful feathers and curving it around and then back up till it meets the head of the bird. You can also take a pencil and draw a beak at the front of the bird's head. So I'm going to use a beautiful orange for my bird's beak. And let's give it an eye as well. So you could use a wiggle eye if you have one or simply draw the eye onto the bird. Now that we have our bird traced, we're going to take our scissors and cut along those pencil lines that we made. So let's cut it out. So here's our beautiful green bird. Now, if you wanted to, you could make a multicolored bird 
And to do that, you just paint a different color for each of your fingers, or you could choose to paint all of your fingers or the feathers of the bird one color, paint the thumb a different color for the head, and then use a third color for your palm to create the bird's body. But I'm happy with that green and I think it looks pretty good. So the next step is to decorate. And this is where you can be as creative as possible. You could use anything really. You could use things like glitter or you might use some more paint to give it some features. I'm going to use my craft feathers and my glue and I'm going to place a different color feather for each of my fingers on the bird's tail. And then let's do a feather on the bird's head and maybe a feather in the middle as well. So I'll grab my glue stick and stick these feathers down. All my feathers are glued in place and I have to say this bird is looking very cool and colorful, but he's just missing some legs. So this is where I'm going to use my paper straw, or you could use a rolled up piece of paper or some paddle pop sticks if you don't have the straw. And I'm going to cut two lengths of the straw. You can choose any, any size legs for your bird, depending on what kind of bird you make. Just make sure that they're the same height or the same length. So with our legs, to make some little bird feet, I'm going to take my scissors and just make some cuts into the bottom of one end of the straw, just leaving a little bit of gap in between. And then I can push out those cuts that I just made to make it look like little feet for the bird. So do the same with the other straw. So just taking the scissors, and making some cuts into the straw and pushing out to make the bird's feet. And we'll turn him over. And to stick the legs on, you can use your glue stick again, or you might find that some sticky tape is a little bit easier. I've got some tape here, and I'm going to give my bird little short legs. <laughs> so let's tape them onto the back of the bird. Turn him around and there we have our beautiful handprint bird inspired by Sarah Allen's Busy Beaks.